Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. So very, very, very soon, hopefully, I'll be able to pull the engine out of this Cherokee and I want to rest that 4.0 right down over here where I've been putting all my engines and transmissions. Uh, so to make some room for that, I'm going to have to get rid of some stuff. So we're going to get rid of this one. <laughs> bye bye, that was easy. And then we're going to have to get rid of this AW4 transmission. Um, this one's got about 220 something thousand miles on it. Anybody wants it? Let me know. It's all yours. Just make a nice donation to the YouTube channel and you can come pick this up. It was working fine when I pulled it. Uh, so now that it's out of the vehicle and in my way, uh, I have a great opportunity to show you guys how to remove the pesky neutral safety switch. So we're going to go ahead and do that today. All right, guys, so if you're having trouble starting your XJ when it's in park, and sometimes you got to bring it into neutral to get it started, or maybe your reverse lights won't work, it's a good chance your neutral safety switch is on the fritz. So to get to that thing, you would have to crawl up under your passenger side, and this is your neutral safety switch. Up under there, next to the exhaust, way up top, and if you're in the northeast, like I am, there's a real good chance that bugger's not gonna want to come off. And you can try and you can try and you can try, but you're probably gonna end up breaking it. Like I did this here a couple years ago. I held on to it. I figured I was gonna make a neutral safety switch video. Here I am two years later. So this is what happens when you struggle with neutral safety switch. Um, brakes, I don't know why. Uh, they made it with a metal housing in the front but a plastic housing in the back. Did they do that on purpose so you could just break it off if it gets seized on? I don't know, because it seems like you could fix this thing uh, without having to break it if it was just a little stronger. But anyway, here we go. Here is the neutral safety switch, and let's see. I'm gonna come around over here to the other side. This is where your shifter linkage would attach to, and you can shift it, it's in park. Now we got Reverse, neutral, drive, so on, so forth. And you can see, as I'm moving that, this little nub turns as well. So, this nub turns inside, and it selects different positions on your neutral safety switch. This is why you can't start the vehicle when it's in uh, reverse or drive. It tells you all these little things. It's got a nice little wire. Plugs into your harness and um, it's connected with all these zip ties. If you're ever changing your neutral safety switch, do not cut these zip ties. These have little tabs that you can release and you can reuse these zip ties. So uh, hold on to those, don't destroy them. So all right, so here is what I did. Uh, this has been sitting there for years, as I mentioned before, and um, I power washed all the garbage, all the dirt, all the junk out of that a long time ago and for Geez, about a month now. I've been coming in here and I've been just soaking the dickens out of this entire neutral safety switch. Uh, hopefully it'll be nice and free. Uh, at least I know it's clean. <laughs> We're going to give this a try. We're going to see if we can get this thing off and uh, not break it. So hopefully we'll be able to see everything you guys need to see on how to get this thing out of here. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is remove this 12 millimeter fastener right up here. Now, uh, <laughs> I know this isn't exactly what you guys are going to be experiencing when you're under the vehicle, but I'm trying to uh, keep it authentic by using a, a hand tool that I could uh, reach in there with. So this is coming out. No problems here. Again, this isn't the issue at hand. I don't think anybody has failed to remove a neutral safety switch uh, because of this fastener here. So a little bit more. There we go. All right, next thing you're going to do is you're going to come up here and you're going to remove all these, well not remove, you're going to just bend up all these little fingers, I guess you could call them. These hold the little uh, washer, the little nut in place. I guess this is a, a lock washer with these fingers, you could call that. Let me get in here so you can see. Yeah, you want to bend all of these little fingers up. So you'll be able to free this nut. Now, this shouldn't be on too tight. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get a tool for this. Yep, here we go. Seven-eighths. All right. So I'm coming in from the top. 
but you guys can come in from the bottom. You can hear it. That's ah, changing the gears. There we go. Oh, that was nothing. Just a little tug came right off. So here is your nut. There is your safety washer. I'm going to set this aside next to the other 12 millimeter. Now this whole thing is supposed to just slide right off. So, uh, yeah, that is on there pretty good. Now there's no real good place to get some leverage on this. So, let's see what we can do. Alright, so these threads, all these threads, they appear to be plastic. So we're not going to want to pry on those. Um, don't want to bash those up. So that's out of the question. Um, let's see. This whole thing wiggles now. Alright. Let's just try pulling. Alright. Pulling doesn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's find something else we could use a little leverage on. Maybe we've got a screwdriver in here. Hmm. No. Gonna have to get something else. All right, next thing I'm gonna try is this little mini flat bar thingy. <laughs> I think I got this at Home Depot. Uh, not a crazy tool, something that should be pretty common to find. I'm gonna try to slide this back in here somewhere. And, oh, there we go. And that's it. It's coming. Just trying to get the pressure right behind this piece right on that little shaft and she's coming guys all right well not easily but that hey <laughs> there we go guys I successfully removed a neutral safety switch all right let's take a look at this nasty grimy shaft that's the problem, man. This gets all gunked up. It's basically exposed to the elements, and it will just seize right on. So here we have a successfully pulled switch. Not too bad looking in there. And here we have the unsuccessful pull. This is all smashed up. <laughs> all right, got it off. That's awesome. A little $4 tool can uh, help save a $150 part. And uh, this isn't looking too bad. All right, we'll... Uh, well, you know what? Here, check it out. Here are these zip ties, reusable zip ties. Let's go ahead and take these off. See that? Don't need to cut them. <laughs> they work like a charm. You save them. I love these, actually. I'll go to a junkyard and I'll collect these. <laughs> no, I won't. Because <laughs> they're a pain in the butt to get to. You guys know that they are jammed all the way up on top of the transmission. Underneath your uh, transmission tunnel, it is a pain to get this thing out. So, come on, let's go. We are done. All right. Again, a successfully pulled neutral safety switch. <laughs> cool. And here we go, guys, again. This is the one that was pulled correctly, and this is the one pulled incorrectly. Just bashed. So I'm probably going to reuse this broken harness, and I'm gonna cut it, and I'm probably gonna uh, ground it out so I could use this bad one on my uh, manual transmission and uh, I won't have a check engine light or whatever make sure everything starts so yep I'm gonna keep this busted one and let's put this good one on my good transmission all right so we're gonna put it back on so before I install the neutral safety switch I am just going to spray the shaft down I'm gonna I don't know use WD-40 right now that'll work I got WD-40 and I got uh, 400 grit sandpaper, and I'm just going to try to get any crusty chunks of rust off, or dirt off, or I don't know, anything that shouldn't be there. Maybe even just polish up some of the pitted metal that's there. Because if I need to take this off again, then I want it to be smooth. So there we go. That's actually pretty nice. I'm digging it so far. This is actually really clean. I don't know why I broke it when I uh, took it off the first time. Who knows, maybe it's just old, brittle plastic. I guess that's what happens with a 20-year-old vehicle. So here we go. 
we got the shaft nice and cleaned up that's looking good and I'm going to use some anti-seize that's right you guessed it I'm gonna coat this whole thing with anti-seize so there all right so I'm just gonna make sure this is in park and here we go we're gonna advance the uh, neutral safety switch as far as it could go into park and we're just gonna slide it right on guys slide it on and oh yeah she is definitely a tight fit believe you me I'm right, bringing this up here and I'm talking gently gently tap gently do not want to break this after coming all this way there we go that was gentle all right so I'm gonna go ahead and lock this into position with its 12 millimeter hand tight for now now I'm gonna go ahead and this actually had a little rubber washer put the little washer maybe it's more like a gasket I don't know gasket first washer first then this little guy with the fingers and now we could just hand tighten the nut right back on there we go hand tight there we go now I'm just gonna bend the little fingers back down a little lock washer interesting this is the only type of lock washer like this on the XJ I'm pretty sure of it if I'm wrong call me out but there we go that's it clean this little thingy up right there and here we go tighten up the 12 millimeter All right, once you got your neutral safety switch back on, you can run your uh, little harness and your plug right up to where it plugs into your engine harness. And then you could uh, reuse your little zip ties and zip tie everything back together, if you could reach. <laughs> so that's it, guys. We did a neutral safety switch swap. Sweet. Oof, man, it is a scorch today. No Corona. Using pink lemonade to stay hydrated. So yeah. Who would have thought this little tiny uh, pry bar could do the trick in getting off a neutral safety switch? Now, if this didn't work, I was going to try to get in there a little deeper with uh, a 90 degree pick. And, um, you know, you're going to want to get behind it and pry really close to the shaft. Because if you pry from up here, you're going to twist it and that could break it. Obviously, this one is broken. I know from experience how easy they are to break. So definitely be careful. Make sure it's nice and clean in there. You're gonna want to soak the hell out of it with some penetrating oil take your time guys no rush this is a pain in the ass but it is possible and uh now i know why i save everything because shoot man i did not know that when i tried to pull this thing a couple years ago i'd be using it for the uh neutral safety switch bypass to satisfy the uh drive park neutral um computer issue when you switch to an ax15 manual transmission so this pigtail is going to get clipped, and um, yeah, going to keep this around somewhere. Hopefully I don't lose it. Don't think I will, because I still have it. <laughs> so, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed my uh, neutral safety switch swap video. Uh, that's it, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next project. Peace.